Oh, sorry, sorry. The assembly will hear an address by His Excellency Serdar Bir Bima Mahamadov, President of Turkmenistan. I request protocol to escort His Excellency. On behalf of the General Assembly, I have the honor to welcome His Excellency Serdar Berdi Mohamedov, President of Turkmenistan, and to invite him to address the Assembly. <laughs> Dear heads and members of delegations, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I would like to congratulate you with the opening of the 78th session of the General Assembly of the United Nations and wish you the productive work. I would like to congratulate Dennis Francis with his election as the President of the General Assembly of the United Nations. Today, high responsibility should unite all member states of the United Nations. Each of them should and has the means to significantly contribute to the tackling of the tasks of the UN. Current world faces very serious challenges out of multiple reasons all of them, despite their difference in appearance, influence the course of the interstate relations in a greater or lesser extent, and often negatively influence the implementation of agreed plans and programs on key areas of the global agenda. This, in turn, may lead to the blurring of the very foundation of global security as a principle of the UN, which should not be allowed. Out of this, Turkmenistan over, over several years firmly and persistently upholds the principle of unity, of security, and its integrity. We are convinced that military and political security should not be considered separately from economic, ecological, energy, transport, food, biological, and information security. None of those mentioned areas cannot be secondary or irrelevant, and their solution cannot be postponed. I think that the main challenge of the UN is to provide the integral approach to the security challenge mobilize the current experience, competence, ideas, and initiatives of the member states in a constructive manner, and step back from the short-term gains and advantages to attain truly crucial goals which will provide lasting peace, security, and development in the long term. This could only be achieved collectively and with the with UN in the main role. Amid the discussions on the role of the UN in the current world and suggestions to reform, it is a fact that there is no alternative to the UN. From the day of its development, UN stands as the only universal and legitimate organization responsible for peacekeeping and providing global and comprehensive security and stable modern structure of the interstate relations. This is the principal position of Turkmenistan. And for this reason, we have to consistently and persistently make use of the potential of global organization its political, diplomatic tools, and moral authority in order to make balanced, non-ideological assessment of current events and tendencies, and to overcome the distrust and confrontational tensions in, a, in the world politics and try to indicate the perspectives 
to compromise and, and to consider mutual interests. It is only possible under the auspices of UN in an, in an open and genuine dialogue. We are aware that achieving this kind of dialogue would not be easy. However, it is necessary. On this regard, Turkmenistan proposes to begin discussing the opportunities of the development of the strategy of global security based on the principles of the Charter of the UN and universal standards of international law, considering the current realities and tendencies of global development. In our opinion, such strategy should reflect the existence of new risk factors, which appeared recently, along with traditional risk factors. Also, we consider it necessary to include a number of areas of the UN into it, in particular, preventive diplomacy as the instrument to prevent and diffuse conflicts, usage of the potential of neutrality for peaceful and political diplomatic settlement of disputes and con contradictions, recovery of the structure of trustful dialogue based on the decisions of the General Assembly of the UN and declaring 2021 as the International Year of Peace and Trust in 2023 as the International Year of Dialogue as Guarantee of Peace. Time confirmed the relevance of these resolutions in current situations. In order to achieve global and comprehensive security, Turkmenistan emanates from the necessity of giving a pronounced regional context to the work of the UN. We conclude that such approach aims to contribute sufficient specificity and to, and to increase its functionality and effectiveness. I am convinced that the time has come to launch an inclusive, full format and systematic dialogue between Central Asia and UN. Turkmenistan respectful, respectfully invites partners to its initiations on this regard, our country is taking the initiative to create, under the auspices of UN, format of the Conference on Security in Central Asia and bordering areas. Goal of the conference is the development of approaches and decisions aimed in aligning and synchronizing the efforts of the Central Asian states and global community international organizations, financial and economic institutions to provide stable, conflict-free development of the region. We express our readiness to host the first conference in Ashgabat in 2024. Dear participants, among the key areas of the work of the UN in coming years, Turkmenistan considers the addressing of urgent climate and ecological issues. Among them, we highlight the issues regarding global methane pledge. I have to tell that with joining the Paris Agreement for Climate Change in 2017, number of relevant national programs were adopted in our country. National events are being held aimed at reducing and eliminating negative effects of methane emissions into the atmosphere. We are primarily talking about phased implementation and use of modern green and resource saving technologies, mainly in energy, industry, and transport areas. At the same time, we welcome the efforts of the global community for realizing global methane pledge. And of course, we expect substantive cooperation and targeted assistance from the specialized agencies of the UN. Member states of the organization and other interested partners. On this context, the roadmap on the development of the international cooperation aimed at study, of, study on joining of Turkmenistan to the global methane pledge 
was recently approved. Soon we will send this document to the UN Secretariat. Overall, I believe that the time has come for the UN to pay close and effective attention to the ecological issues in Central Asia, overcome certain delays in addressing them, and begin taking targeted and specific actions to create a coherent ecological strategy of the UN regarding the region with near 80 million population, covering a vast area with its unique natural resources and biodiversity, and at the, at the same time located at the region with serious ecological risks. As a significant step to take a strategic approach in ecological issues of Central Asia, Turkmenistan is proposing the establishment of a specialized agency, Regional Center for Technologies related to climate change in Central Asia, which will work substantially and systematically on the topic of climate. We are ready to offer organizational and technical terms for the functioning of such center in the, cap the capital city of Turkmenistan, Ashgabat. Central Asia, region, region adjoining the Caspian Sea. Everyone is aware of the importance of this lake with its unique natural complex in the context of global ecological agenda. As a result of active and respectful long-term cooperation of coastal countries, the key principle of politics on the Caspian were developed, including the Convention on the Legal Status of the Caspian Sea. Last summer on the 6th Caspian Summit in Turkmenistan, all the participants firmly affirmed their readiness for tight cooperation on ecological issues. I believe that it gives a good opportunity for the beginning of wide systematic interaction of coastal countries with the UN. In this regard, Turkmenistan is proposing the creation of the Caspian Ecology Initiative, which will be aimed at becoming a platform for substantive and professional interaction on wide range of issues associated with environmental protection of the Caspian, preserving its bi biological resources and tackling of the several pressing ecological issues. We think that the re realization of this initiative should be done with the tight cooperation with the UN, its agencies and institutions. Dear participants, as a responsible member state of the UN, Turkmenistan clearly formulates and implements its own approaches and actions by defining the priorities which will make a tangible contribution and serve for the benefit of global goals, facilitating their early achievement. Among those priorities, we highlight the realization of SDGs in transport area. As you know, Turkmenistan initiated the creation of effective international platforms on this important area. Let me mention the first ever global conference on sustainable transport, which was successfully held in Ashgabat in 2016. Also, the ministerial meeting of the land located developing countries, which was organized last summer with the cooperation of the UN in Turkmenistan. We are proud that purposeful work of Turkmenistan was marked by the adoption of six resolutions on transport by the General Assembly in recent years, which were initiated by Turkmenistan. Among the recent ones, resolution on the World Sustainable Transport Day, which was adopted in May. We thank all the member states for support of the document. On this regard, relying on the state of the resolution, Turkmenistan is proposing convene a high-level meeting within current session on occasion of the World Sustainable Transport Day. We hope for the assistance of relevant UN agencies in organizing this event in, in New York. 
The important area of the work of Turkmenistan in achieving the SDGs is uh, maximizing assistance to the UN in addressing the food, as food issue. COVID-19, along with other adverse factors, has exposed the weakness of the countries where this issue is unsolved and where the population doesn't get proper nutrition. Unity, integrity, and determination is necessary when addressing the issues related to the access of countries and regions of the food resources, guaranteed proper nutrition as an integral part of human rights, and the key factor of health and normal physical development, especially for children. It is obvious that it needs groundbreaking decisions and new approaches which will overcome political, ideological, and conjunctural barriers. Consequently, Turkmenistan comes forward with an initiative to convene a major international forum on food security with the cooperation of World Food Program, World Health Organization, and United Nations Children's Fund under the auspices of UN. We express our readiness to provide terms for holding such an event in the capital city of Turkmenistan within the agreed time frame. Dear participants, dear heads and members of delegations, next year in Turkmenistan and far beyond its border, including the UN, we'll celebrate the 300th anniversary of prominent son of the Tur Turkmen nation, poet, philosopher, and public figure, Maktomuli Prague. Whole humanity honors the memory of him and pays due respect to the great humanitarian who majorly contributed not only to the world literature, but also to the development of Eastern civilization and of the whole world. And I would like to conclude with an excerpt from the poem of Maktomuli, called to the humanity, in which he addresses his fellows and descendants, these life-affirming lines, no matter asleep or awake, who will be loyal to his intentions. Let the loyalty to the cre creative thoughts, ideals of peace, justice, and progress serve as a main and clear guide in our joint work. Thank you, for, thank you very much. On behalf of the Assembly, I wish to thank the President of Turkmenistan for the statement made, and I request protocol to escort His Excellency.